So energy as a service model will come, and I'll give you an example. Like, let's say that you've got a uh, fleet of electric trucks, and you go, well, look, I'm, a, I'm a, a logistics company. I deal with trucks and drivers, and I move stuff around. I don't know about charging infrastructure. I don't know about how to service these electric trucks. There are companies that will come in, and they will do everything for you. They will spend, they will spend their capital to buy the truck. They will spend their capital to put in the charging infrastructure. They will even give you drivers if you want, and you pay a per kilometer amount. And then you can sit down and do the math, and you can figure out whether or not that makes sense for you. The same energy as a service model gets applied to public buildings. A school district can come in, and they, they'll, the energy as a service company will install solar panels. It'll install batteries. It'll install the controls that are, are all required. And they supply the capital. And, the, and the, uh, they take their, where they earn their money, the return on the capital, is the savings in energy for the customer. There are all of these kinds of models that are out there in the United States and in, uh, in Europe and other places, not so much in Canada. And we need policy and regulatory reform to encourage those kinds of new innovative business models. I, I, I spend half my time interviewing experts around the world and half my time interviewing Canadian experts. I cannot tell you how far behind we are. 